show you how to apply individual lashes so basically I've been posting up on my snapchat and everything about how much I really loved them and just how easy they were to apply how lightweight they felt and they just looked a lot more natural than strip lashes and then I kind of got a bit of an influx of questions about them because basically a lot of people are very unsure of how to actually apply them and I think that people think it's a lot more scary and difficult than it actually is because you kind of look at them and go Ugh. I just wanted to do this tutorial for anyone that asked for it and also for those of you who just think that individual lashes are way too hard to apply because they are honestly not they're so much easier and less time consuming than strip lashes and um, once you kind of really get the hang of it you can pop them on in probably like less than 30 seconds the ones I'm going to be using today are these individual lashes from Pennies or Primark for anyone who is not from Ireland and um, these are only one euro and fifty cent which I think is an absolute steal for individual lashes and especially these like these are really really great they come with long medium and short these do come with glue but I will say that usually the glue in cheaper eyelashes are not the best so I have personally not even tried the glue maybe it would work for you so basically the glue i've used is the eyelor lash fix strip adhesive but you know it's um an eyelor glue you can just buy it separately like this in boots what i'm gonna do myself once this is gone is pick up the duo glue because it's a squeezy tube so you can squeeze it out instead what you have to do is get something so i'm just using the card that is that comes with the eyelashes and as you can see I've just squirted out a little bit of the glue I've just kind of tapped it out like that um, and then you want to leave it kind of dry so like let it get tacky go about doing your eyeshadow do your mascara kind of just let it get nice and tacky so that it's almost dry as you're putting it on so that once you place the eyelashes on they won't move around yeah. Also, you definitely need to start with mascara on, and you also need a tweezers. I have never tried to apply these without a tweezers because I think that would be a bit too difficult. Okay, so I'm going to start from the outer corner and work my way in, so you want to obviously go from long to short. I grab my tweezers, and I just pop it underneath the lash, so I've kind of pushed it up, as you guys can see. I just clamp the tweezers down and pull the eyelash. So then it's perfectly kind of clamped so you are ready to pop it on your eye. So then what you want to do is grab your little card that has the glue on it and just dip it into the glue. So then I just grab a mirror and obviously just grab the lash. I picked up one of the long ones and just pop it as close to my lash line as I can get it. And it's on it is literally that simple so I like to keep it to just one long lash on the outer corner because I don't want them to be too too dramatic so I then move on to taking a medium lash so I just grab it the same way as before dip it into the glue and just place it right beside the other one going to grab another medium lash And another medium lash. So once I've gotten about halfway into my eye, I'm going to move on to shorter ones. This is really what's going to make it look more natural because you want the shorter ones 
on your inner corners the same way as before. Just grab the lash, dip it into your glue. So once I kind of get to the inner corners, I start to leave larger gaps between them to make the eyelashes look more spaced, a little less full, and then in turn more natural. So obviously you can stack your lashes a lot more than I have and you'll get a much, much fuller look, but usually that's what I will do. One long one, um, three mediums and two shorts, and that gives me the lash look that I want. Um, it never looks great, obviously, until the glue dries, but um, that's the difference there, as you can see. Big difference, but they're still nice and fluttery and long. I left liner off today so that you guys can see properly what I'm doing, because you want to try and get them as close to your lash line as possible. Basically all there is to it, once the lash glue has dried and the white colour has gone, they are pretty much like undetectable. Um, if you feel like you didn't get them close enough to the lash line, you could always grab maybe a black eyeshadow and just dab right on top of, um, along your lash line and that will really, really blend them in. But like I said, I like to get them really close to the lash line so then I don't need to do that because I don't really like wearing liner too much. Yeah, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and uh, if you have any more questions leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye!